MIS automation is a quantitative report that we have. It has all the numbers and the data that we have in all the programs and all the sessions has been recorded over 50 years. So that's a detailed data analysis report and along with it standard operating procedure. Today one person might be working in one position and next day that person might leave. So what happens? Her or his way of working may impact these people. But when we have this standard operating procedure written and documented, every person coming to that position and working in that position will have to follow the same guide, guidelines and the steps which have already proved as results. And so it has documented the entire process, systems and the structure of the organization. It has, we have detailed reports written, what is the job of a volunteer, what is the role of a social worker, what is the role of a counsellor and the doctors and everyone working. And apart from that, now we have also uh, started working with quality assurance framework. Quality assurance is we all are working, but at times we do not like we do not uh, keep on track of the quality. So we have we are right now working on quality assurance framework. Uh, all the teams across IAS have had a rigorous training on quality assurance, and we try and focus all the teams sit together and we prepare our change projects. The least um, or the uh, least uh, or the area which needs the most focus. Uspe hum focus karke hamare pure outcomes, hamare action plans, details, steps kya hoga, kaun se team member ka kya responsibility hoga, aise karke hum logo ne change project plan kya hai. That falls under quality assurance framework. Next. And so now it's a snapshot. Our goal is to strengthen the ecosystem. It involves our beneficiaries, who are the clients, our community members, our team, and our government officials and everyone. Our vision is always to ensure holistic development and uh, their dignity. And for that, the components that we already we have spoken, the outreach program, the Noyadur, shelter and reintegration, we all are collaborating together. And right now, the urban mental health program, which is working with the Kolkata Municipal Corporation, our, our patients who live on the streets, are also assess, accessing the mental health care facility from the Kolkata Municipal Corporation. So it is, we try to convey this that we have finally made mental health care free and accessible for all. And from the last, um, since the last two years, 25 of our um, homeless people have availed the service from the community. Initially, it has been a huge challenge because even the people living in the slums, the slum dwellers were also not, were also distinguishing themselves from the homeless people. And they were also not ready to accept these homeless people who, are, who come in tattered clothes and shabby clothes, live on the streets. They, are, they were also not allowing them. So, to, over the years, through rigorous awareness programs and rigorous uh, community work, we could bridge this gap and provide mental health care facility to both home-based and homeless people under the same roof. Yes, Sandra, that will be all.